Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to take our simple timer and add two buttons that starts it and stops the timer. So what we're going to do is to quickly make a text box here. And then in the event, we have on start of layout, set text to timer. We're going to do some subtraction right here. All this stuff was covered in a previous video, the simple timer video. Check that out. And we have our global variable here. Let's go ahead and go back to the main screen. And what we're going to do is create two more text pieces. I'm going to call this start text. And I'm just going to place it right here for right now. And I'm going to go ahead and make this a start. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Eh, that's good enough. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same thing for stop and stop text click right here I can believe I picked 36 as the font size and just gonna say stop there we go perfect all right so I'm gonna put one on the right side one on the left side call it good for right now and now what we're going to do is have our touch event interact with this so I'm gonna double click make sure my touch is in my input and now that's it. it's added we're going to go to our event sheet and let's get it clicked uh, attached together so we're going to click on add event and we're going to say touch if it's touching an object we're going to pick start first and then i'm going to go through this one more time for the first half and pick my stop so now that we have both of these items set up we get to tell it what to do. Now, right now, this starts immediately. Every one second, it just keeps going. So what we're going to do is create a Boolean that is like our on and off switch. So in order to do that, we're gonna right click in this area, add a new global variable. And we're just gonna go, uh, is timer on and we're going to make this a boolean which means it's going to be either true or false and right now we're going to make it false by default we want to click start and then it turns it to true so in order for us to do this let's work on this start text right now if we make start text here we what we want to do is change is timer to true so let's go ahead and Click the action and in the system section this is where our global variables is you could do set boolean or toggle boolean and we're going to do set boolean because it's a global variable so we're just going to say okay cool we're going to make it true there we go and when it stops we want to do it as false so i'm just going to do a copy paste and then drag this down and set this to false so now we have it going back and forth however if i hit play right now it's just going there's nothing starting it stopping it nothing's happening and the main reason is this here is running every one second so what we need to do is only have this happen if it runs one second and is timer on is true so in order to add a second condition you right click this area at where it gets highlighted and then you could add another condition so you click on that and we're going to go to system and then we're going to compare two values we also could do this one too is boolean set you compare two values actually let's look at this all right two arbitrary values this makes it a little harder we know this is global so let's just go ahead and use is boolean set for this one so we're going to click this we're just going to check hey is timer on sure there you go and now when we hit play nothing's running all right now if you click start your timer goes if i hit stop it will halt and then I could go back to start and it will continue. 
So this is how you can get it to run with a simple on and off switch. Now, one other thing we can do to this is, what if we wanted to reset our time and then whatnot? Let's make another button. Or actually, let's go ahead and just add it to our stop. Let's say every time you stop it, it also resets the timer, right? So what you can do is right here, you're gonna set the timer to false and you're gonna have something to do. You actually don't need this here if we change this instead of it changing the timer, we could reset the global variables. However, you have to be very careful. In this example, I only have two of these variables. So if you're gonna go in and try to reset everything, you gotta be very careful when you do it and how you do it based on your gameplay. So uh, that's one way of doing it. I'm gonna leave this as is and make a new system. And I'm going to set the value of timer back to 60. However, that's good. So check out what's gonna happen. I'm gonna hit start, I'm gonna let it run. I'm gonna hit stop. All right, stopped at 57. Now I start again, it's gonna go from 59. However, what happened to 60? And what we, we have to remind ourselves is whenever we are doing like a reset or something, we need to then make sure the text of the timer is set to the global variable called timer. That way it's gonna first turn off the Boolean, it's gonna then reset the timer, and then it's gonna display to the user that these actions actually occurred. Because it did occur, you just didn't have a visual representation of it on the game itself. So you're gonna click here. Let's go ahead and hit play one more time. We're gonna hit start. We're gonna let it run down a little bit. Then we're gonna hit stop and see how it went to 60. Now we could go. And now you have it where it does a stop, reset, so then you could start all over again. So you could create a pause button, you could create all sorts of other additional buttons based on what you need. But the main thing about this video is just to show you how you could create a simple on and off by adding a Boolean and then making this where two conditions have to be true in order for this statement to work. So that's how you get a start and stop button going with your timer.